hi everyone uh, this is Mithun today we are going to take up a new session on how to install Tomcat in an EC2 instance so what are the information that we require to install a Tomcat uh, we need to we are trying to install Tomcat on a red hat uh, that is a red hat of flavor of Linux and the first option that we have is we have to install the Java application and once we install the Red Hat uh, in the Linux server, once we install the Java, we need to update uh, or the Linux servers, whatever it is, uh, the files we need to update. And then we have to install Java. And the installation is completed. Then we will go ahead and check for Tomcat uh, zip file. And we will download it. And we will go ahead and unzip that file. Once the unzip file is done, then we will move the source move the file to slash opt tomcat and we will go ahead and change the permission settings once the permission settings is over we will initiate uh, the startup.sh command so that the uh, tomcat will start working and once that application is start running we will go ahead and take down the IP address of the EC2 machine and try to uh, connect with the port and see if the if you're able to see the Tomcat page. So let's quickly go ahead and try to log into our EC2 machine. So let me just open my EC2. Okay, I'm into my EC2 dashboard. All right, let me just go ahead and click on launch machine. So right now we are uh, trying to install a Tomcat. So I'm going to make name this one as master. Okay, I'm going to uh, give the name as master for this machine and I'm um, selecting Red Hat. That's going to be the free tier that I'm going to use in this uh, installation process. Okay, the Red Hat Enterprise is Linux 9. That's the one that I'm using. It's a free tier. And I'm going to install in the T2 micro, that's a free tier. And I've already set up my key pair. So how to create key pair, I have uh, created a video for that. So you can go ahead and check that out. So once it is there, I've also created a group that is for Tomcat. It's nothing but we are giving permission for SSH, HTTP and uh, SSH for uh, port number TCP 8080 um, and now I'll just go ahead and uh, launch instance okay so we are trying to connect to the EC2 machine so today I'm uh, trying to log in for my git bash so let me go and open git bash account uh, the application so if you're not aware of, about git bash i have an exclusive video that i've updated for that you can go ahead and try to install it's a very simple way to install it and the simple way to connect to a easy to mission so i'll just go ahead and go to my downloads this is where i've downloaded my pem keys and let me also uh, copy my SSH key access link and I'll just paste this one here and uh, type in yes where I will be able to connect to my EC2 instance I could see that I'm in the EC2 instance s sudo minus i I'm going to get to the root user if I type pwt so it shows me root user uh, well em update so i'm going to update my 
Linux operating system that I'm using right now. So if there is any packages that needs to be updated during the process, so it will go ahead and uh, check that information and update it. So we are almost on the go. And the system is checking for any transaction ch checks. So meanwhile, I'll just uh, open my EC2 instance. And uh, let's see, since you only installed the Red Hat and we will check but if there is anything, any application is running, this IP address, I'm trying to copy it from here. And I will open up a new fresh new page. The port number should be 8080. And if I hit enter, since only the Red Hat is getting installed, we haven't installed any of this options. So it will show up like this, but the site cannot be Okay, so it's still in the process of updating, upgrading the Linux here. So to install Java, uh, what we have to have is I'm going to log into my uh, blog page that is on uh, Affordable Web App. I've just created a blog page and uh, I've copied a couple of information here so this is a command that we are going to do yum install minus y install java 11 open jdk and java 11 open jdk develop so this would be the command that we would be going going ahead and installing it and the java version 11 that's one we are trying to install okay i hope it's almost done Okay, it's still taking a little more time. So there are many versions of uh, Java application. So currently we are using the JDK 11. So let me check if it is working. So let's wait for that to complete the process of updating the uh, server here. And we will quickly check the instances, the type of instances what we are running. So since we are running a T2 micro and it's on the AP South region, that is in the Mumbai region. And we have the public IP that is 65100. 102 and it's also associated with a private IP key IP address as well okay so we almost done with it and let's go ahead and install Java so it's trying to configure the Java applications and the files and installation files and everything So once this is over, then the next step is for to uh, install wget and unzip because uh, we wanted to download the uh, Tomcat file. So in the process, uh, we will just open a uh, Google page and I will type Tomcat download 
So we have an Apache tomcat.apache.org. That's a page we will be opening it up. And from here, uh, we're going to select the uh, zip file. So I'll, I'll just right click and copy the link address. Let's see if the installation is complete. Yes, it shows complete. Uh, em install wget and unzip. So these are the files uh, we require uh, for the applications to work. One is to wget, get, and then paste the link and if you just update it and if i type ls so we have the zip file which is uh, you know downloaded in our location and uh, we will go ahead and unzip unzip and a patchy file that's the zip file yeah now it is if i type ls so we have one the top tomcat with the blue and another with the red so the blue is the one which we are unzipped okay so we're going to move this file to a perfect location that's a source to location that we have to select and then slash opt slash tomcat so this is a location we are actually moving the entire uh file so let me see if we are not missing any of those options yeah this is the one and if i hit enter and ls if i type i could see only this particular option okay so that means we are in the right location right now so if i do cd slash wait let me just also give uh, so i will just go ahead and change the directory cd slash opt slash tomcat enter so we are in the tomcat ch mode uh, seven double five that's the option i wanted minus r recursively and i would say i wanted to have it in tomcat folder tomcat and if i hit enter no such oh sorry so I would just skip a bit down cd dot dot cd place opt so we are in the opt file chm mode seven double five minus r slash opt slash tomcat if it enter it given the permission for that particular looking files so we are actually done with this and now we have to uh, give permission start the uh, tomcats application so it is nothing but slash opt slash tomcat slash bin dot start dot sh and hit enter oh, start up start up dot sh so it shows me that the tomcat files are running right now so we will it's already started so we will quickly go ahead and try to uh, see with that ip address which you have opened earlier if this tomcat is working then we should get the tomcat file okay so we are almost done and uh, before we leave uh, we'll also check what is the version of java that we are using here so java minus version and it shows the JDK open JDK version of 11.0.18 is a version that we are trying to use in this application here. So as I told you, we just uh, 
uh, installed uh, the Tomcat and the EC2 instance. So we just uh, installed the Linux and then we installed Java JDK Kit and uh, we installed WKit and uh, unzip. We downloaded the Tomcat and unzipped it and we have updated that uh, unzip file in the Tomcat location. We are given the permission for the Tomcat and then we started up with the Tomcat. So uh, this is very simple and easy way to uh, start the Tomcat services and uh, I hope you are able to understand some of the knowledge here and uh, hope you all have a great day ahead and uh, bye for now.